came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever, you know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just, in a month, like it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money and his money is our money. Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had texted his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with this. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So, you know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do handle whatever you got to handle. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear. Like most times, at the end of the day, the accountability falls on the man. If she truly told you from the very beginning that her money is her money and your money is their money, that's on you, man. And that goes back to the old simps. I've been hearing that saying since I was a kid. Any woman that's not willing to spend money on you or spend money on your household is not somebody that's worth wifing. So at the end of the day, that's on him. Outside of the super 304 part of her sleeping with his mans, notice what she said. She had to pay the bills for one month and expected that man to pay her back. And he says, why would I have to pay my wife back for bills? For our house and the fact that she doesn't understand that or even acknowledge the fact that he's been paying the bills the majority of the time before that just shows me you're dealing with an ungrateful woman it's on you fella oh i swear to god i need a boyfriend this thing i'm gonna let you know i'm fixing to let you know i'm not gonna you let you know that i am that bitch and i'm okay be okay that you bitch. can be that bitch but you post it you're gonna be a single bitch by yourself bitch lonely bitch sad bitch crying yeah bitch. so what makes you think you don't need to be that way? one fish two fish sad bitch i'm gonna get a new bitch god damn it i like the way you do business so my baby daddy pays three thousand dollars in child support and you're saying that i'm living off my kids money because i use all the child support money for bills for example some of it goes to my mortgage my car payments my phone bill my health insurance because i don't have a job right now so i gotta pay out of pocket for insurance and you're saying that i can work while they go to school and that the three thousand dollars should be for one kid and not all yes my baby daddy pays three thousand dollars for one kid not all my other kid all my other kids have different baby daddies that pay other amounts and i feel like if my kids got to live off of me off of my body for nine months why can't i live off of them huh because like i put myself on the line to birth these kids i sacrificed myself so i can't use the child support to support all of us and also if i don't use the child support money for bills such as my car note my car will get repoed like i don't think you understand that i need the child support in order to afford these things that i have as she mentioned she has three children by three different men and she said in another clip that i've seen that this baby father pays three thousand another one pays 1400 and another one pays 500 so she's getting a total of 4900 dollars a month in child support let's make it five thousand for easy math that's sixty thousand dollars a year that she's getting annually for doing nothing but existing and because of that money she's able to be a stay-at-home mom living off her child support and one other thing she said she put her life on the line to have those children no you didn't women one of your main functions for your body when you're younger is to birth children it's what you're made to do women stop giving yourself pats on the back for birthing the children you would never give a man a pat on the back for ejaculating in a woman and getting her pregnant but the bigger point is this fellas a lot of these women they have these babies strictly to get child support especially if they have multiple children by multiple men because the state will take higher cut of child support from the different man opposed to if they all had their children with the same man and while we're on the subject of child support watch this clip um, here's another wild card. The reason why my second child is here is because I wanted him to be here. And so I kind of went back to my ex to get the second baby. I know that's, <laughs> so, um, that's why he's here, but there's no feelings there for my, <laughs> my ex-husband. 
<laughs> um, Went to the ex j really just to get the baby, basically. To sleep with him and get the baby. And you put him on child support for the kid. But if you, like, took him into court? court? The first kid? Yeah. When they, were, when they got divorced, all oh, of that is spelled out in the, yeah, yeah. in the divorce. So do you plan on doing it for the second kid? Yes. <laughs> um, do he know you set him up to have a baby? Your who? Ex-husband. I don't, I don't know. You set that man up for that baby. That's what happened. You you made him think that we was going to reconcile because you wanted that baby. You wanted a second baby. And he don't know it. So now he ain't got no ill will. He thinks, hey, it just happened. He don't think that you finessed the baby out of But that's exactly what happened. Uh, this don't even make no sense. I understand getting child support for the first child because they got divorced. A child support decree or a child support order is usually mandatory with any divorce. So I understand that. But she went back to that man purposely under the rules to reconcile just to get pregnant again with all intentions on putting that man on child support for a second baby. Fellas, protect your seed. Then she comes on the internet and says it with a smile. Whole game, man. It's an evil world we live in. They must catch him today thinking slick. Watch him, I'm going to try to close the door. Make sure him don't close the door. Don't close the door. Him don't pay no rent. My God, who is that? Fitzroy, who is that? Blood clot. Me have to catch this pan camera. That's why the ear bed I gave him can't hold no ear. He loved the big buck girl them. I can't believe my eyes. This is Miss Cheryl from church. A deaconess. Miss Cheryl, oh, watch church. Fitzroy, you're wicked. Go watch your big buck girl. <laughs> Three signs she's a bop. Number one, she wears different color hair. If her hair is a whole different color from her natural hair, she's for the streets. If she wears red, purple, blue, green, red, purple, silver, gray, orange, not orange, orange hair, she's for the earth. She's getting bust down in the club bathroom. She at the after party is getting bust down like a hot plate. She letting dudes play with her with dirty fingernails. She getting the lifeline knocked out of her for drinks and wings. Number two, she has a body full of tattoos. If she has a body full of tattoos, she's getting the Mario coins knocked out of her. She's getting put through the mattress. She's getting nailed for free tattoos and piercings. She got your number saved in the free food. You are definitely a part of her meal plan. Number three, if she posts thirst traps, she's a Facebook and Instagram thoughts. She has an OnlyFans page. You will see her on Twitter being a throat goat. She got a whole football team in her DM. And she be getting bent over the balcony at somebody's penthouse. She texting you goodnight while she texting another man she can't sleep. And you still inboxing her and blowing up her phone like a dummy. Meanwhile, her and the dude that's clapping cheeks laughing at you while you sitting over there waiting for her phone call and text he putting her head through the wall beating her shit out the frame she getting ddt'd on the floor don't be that guy avoid this woman at all costs bottom line is they're all red flags whether it's a bunch of tattoos thirst trapping or the color wigs the color wigs i kind of thought was obvious watch this clip right here green yellow pink purple wigs is not cute all right it is very unattractive, all right? And that's exactly how people perceive you when you are walking around in the streets with rainbow color hair, all right? People instantly think that you're a clown, okay? That's the only words I could come up with. They literally think that you are a clown and you live in clownery every single day, all right? So this is why I emphasize the way you carry yourself in public is the way people see you, okay? I've never seen this bitter old lady before on social media, and I usually don't agree with anything she's saying, but she's spot on right here. Even women in her comments are fighting her on it. This made me giggle anyway, guys. What color should I do next, purple or ruby red? I don't care what anyone thinks. I say express yourself. You got to be you. Talk about me. This is your opinion. That's your opinion how are you going to speak for everyone? Bottom line is this. Men don't take women seriously if you have those purple, those colored wigs on. I hate women wearing wigs, wigs, period. Especially if they don't have an illness and they don't have a head full of hair tied under someone else's hideous wig. Be that as it may. It's all truth right here. Regardless if you like it or not. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever seen as a bouncer? As a bouncer? Yeah. 
Uh, took a response to a fight. And when I got outside, it was between a guy and a trainee. Uh, and they were in a fight. By the time I got through the crowd and was like actually about to go break them up, she had thrown one of the cleanest hooks I've ever seen in my entire life, knocked this dude to the ground, and proceeded to say, you like this anyway. Pulls the dick tape off, drops the dick on his face, and I just, I just couldn't. I just fucking walked away. No. I ain't break up shit. I was just like, you know what? Y'all got that. Y'all, it, it did, it, it broke itself up. No. No. That nigga, 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 Are you married? Yes. Cool. Yes. Is he happy? Oh, that's a weird question. Usually, they ask if I'm happy. Yeah, but like, it's a different kind of an interview. I'm just, oh. you know, because he's not here, like, I, I want to show my care for him as well. Mm. Is he happy? Your answer is... Yes, no? You, you don't wanna, you don't, you don't wanna answer that question? No. I think it's okay. I think I think we got the answer. Who we? That's me and the and the camera guy. You got it, bro. Well, fuck. And fuck. The fact that she said in the very beginning, I'm not used to being asked that question. He usually asks me, the woman, am I happy? Because no one really gives a shit about men. And the fact that she refused to answer the question, which in reality she already answered. Her husband is likely unhappy, but she doesn't even care. She was unable to answer the question. She got triggered and said F him to the interviewer as well as the cameraman. Oh, feel bad for her husband, man. Listen, one of the best places in the world to find out what the protection of men looks like versus when they take it away, Iraq was more progressive than the United States back in 56. You can look it up. They were actually more progressive when it came to women's rights. Until Shiites, I think, took over. And literally within seconds, it went back. They were wearing burqas. Because there was no protection from the men. Right now, if men didn't protect women, y'all could walk out in this street and get ready. No one could stop it. Mm -hmm. Who's going to stop it? Men keep other men in check. That's why it's sad that women talk so low to men when literally women wouldn't have anything if men decided we're not going to give it to you. Damn. And allow, a men lower themselves to raise women up. Because if a man decided that he wanted to just continue to oppress you, what could you do to stop it? If men collectively said, we're going to continue to raise women, we're going to continue to keep women in the house and barefoot and pregnant, what could women do to stop it? Nothing. Damn. Thank you, dear. That's That's a fact. So That's men sad. should be looked at a lot better than they are because we're looked at as horrible people and we're literally protecting and building society. Let me know what you think. Do better squadron. Fall out. My God, who is that? Fitzroy, who is that? Blood clot. May I have to catch this punk camera? That's why the earbud I gave him can't hold no ear. He loved the big buck girl. I can't believe my eyes.